Hello crafters and welcome to this week's From Picture to Page and Beyond Paper Craft Show update. I'm Michelle Brown, Creative Director from Picture to Page and Beyond, which is our scrapbooking, mixed media art and paper crafting community. And I'm popping into your feed today to give you a bit of our weekly update. Now, of course, we're going to jump into a dash of crafting inspiration. We're going to talk about the Packenham show, which is not far away, and we've got some updates with Plan C as well. So firstly, for our crafting inspiration, I wanted to reach out to all of you card makers, and I've got a question for you. Are you a card maker that makes one-offs, or do you make in a batch? Now this last week or so we had Mother's Day and it was the first time I saw our extended family for quite a while so I had about five birthdays to catch up on as well as some Mother's Day cards and of course while I've only got one mother there was aunts there as well and it was just a lovely opportunity to make some cards and to share my creativity with everyone because there's nothing like seeing people's face light up when they get a handmade card particularly when it's been personalised for them. But it's been a long time since I've made that many cards and I really wondered how I was actually going to find the time and the focus to get there. So what I decided to do was to create a couple of backgrounds and then cut those up and make the cards and then match them with different cards and backgrounds and then individual personalised greetings as well. So I'd love to know from you, pop it in the comments and let us know if you are a card maker, do you tend to make in batches and then sort of have a theme in mind or stick to a colour or do you make one off so that they're absolutely personalised? We would love to know which way you jump because I did find that while it seemed a lot to make nine cards all at once, I was actually quite happy with the results and I managed to do a little bit of making some of the same colour or very similar so I didn't have to think too much about them but once I got started I was fine. It was always getting started that's hardest isn't it? That's the other thing when it comes to inspiration doesn't it? Sometimes it doesn't matter how much we think about it we've just got to get started and get it done. So like I said I would love to hear in the comments do you make one-off cards that are special and personalised or do you tend to batch them and then just really love having a heap there to go. So I can see we've got Wendy there. Hi Christine, hi Corinne, hi Enna. Thanks for joining us. I can see Wendy says she usually does in batches and one-offs a special occasion. So I think that is certainly another good way of approaching it if you do have some up your sleeve and then of course be ready to um, put together something special. And Chris says she batches for Christmas and then one-offs for birthdays. Oh, that's a good compromise as well. I think that can, that can be a good way of approaching it. Excellent. So I'm looking forward to hearing all your comments and thoughts on card making. If you would like to see the cards that I made, or of course share your own, we've got our Papercraft Posse group, which is our Facebook group, and we'll have a link here somewhere in the comments, and we would love for you to come and join us to share cards, to share what you're thinking of, ask any questions, a lot of the retailers are in there as well, so it's a really good place to come and ask questions, and then of course get to know people online, meet them at our craft afternoons, and of course then you'll have some familiar faces when you head to the show. Now speaking of shows, we are only one and a bit weeks away from the Packenham show. Can can you believe it? Our first in-person show in Melbourne. We did have Bendigo at the start of the year, but of course we are back at Packenham. Now we will be at the Cadinia Cultural Centre on the 22nd and 23rd of May. And there is just so much going on right now and I really wanted to tell you all about it. So all of our retailers have been announced. So you can head over to our website from picture to page and beyond .com .au and scroll down to where it says retailers and there all of them are listed. But I also wanted to tell you what they were up to. So this is what I know so far and I will certainly be continuing to update you as I get more information in. So firstly, mini classes will be offered by Little Bits and Close to My Heart. Now Little Bits is offering two cards and Close to my heart, Danny has put together some really little, what she's calling card candy, or little things that you could just stick on a card, and they're very cute. So for photos of those, head over to the website. Now, make and takes. Last week I mentioned Mixed Media Art doing the mini book. We've also got a paper experience doing their stand-up butterfly card, which is really cute. Now, Kazaz is doing a make and take, but they are having a new release in the next week or so and are unable to share any of the details with us yet. But as soon as they can share with us, I will make sure I share them with you so you can see exactly what the Kazaz make and take would look like with Natalie. And finally, we've got Trancy Tracy with Stamping Up and they're doing a really cute make and take as well and I'm still waiting for those details. So again, for all the updates, head over to the website and that's where the updates will go. 
Now, like we said last week, we're really excited to have a few new retailers to our Packenham show. We've got Scrap Mats, and while we've seen Sophie and Andrew behind the cameras on our online shows, we've yet to see them in person, so we're really excited that they're heading to Packenham. We've got Doug and Dean with Catchy Crafts. We've got Jody with Craftaway Retreats. Now, if you've been thinking of getting a few friends together for a crafty retreat, definitely catch up with Jody. And then we've got Pat and her team with the Victorian Parchment Retreats, and they'll be doing some um, lovely demonstrations with their parchment craft and also have a whole heap of crafty things there for sale as well. And then, of course, we've got our favourites coming back. We've got Joe and Jen with a Peninsula Paper Craft Boutique. We've got Little Bits. We've got Close to My Heart. We've got Craft Zone, and they'll be doing demonstrations as well. We've got the Laser Craft Ladies, we've got Jeanette and Jay Craft, we've got Hobby Hoppers and their wonderful range of crafting products. We've got Azza, we've got Creative Memories with Ray and Megan. Now you will have seen a lot of their videos on our online show, so it'll be great to see them in person again as well. We've got Nat with Kazaz, we've got Sharon and Harold with Paper Source, and again, their papers just have to be seen in real life. It's just doesn't do the justice when you see the photos. Hi, Mary. We've got Tracy with Stamping Up, like I said. We've got Crafters Cupboard with a really unique range of stamping and um, art journaling products. Now, Karen from Scrap to Relax will be back, and this may be her last show. The Her bricks and mortar store has closed, and I think she's just got some things to get rid of, so I'm hoping we're going to be able to grab a bargain there. We've got Kerry with Paper Experience. I'll be there with Mixed Media Art. Kathy with Eclectic Images. And, of course, Planner Alley. We've got Live, Love & Craft, Luscious Labels, and Hop to it and I know they'll be doing some demonstrations across the weekend as well so that's it that's our 24 retailers like I said all the details are over on the website there's a few other announcements as well the email did go out this last week with the discount coupon and also some other instructions as well so if you're not on our email list head over to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au and scroll down in the bottom bottom pop in your name and your email address and we promise we won't flood you with emails we will never sell your email lists and names to anyone they are just for us to be able to communicate you for the show and particularly at this time of year it's so important that we can get in touch with you if anything changes ahead of the Packenham show if that happens it'll be here on Facebook and it will also be sent out directly to your inbox through our email list so you do need to make sure you're on that email list so like I said last week the email discount coupons went sent out and the next week Week, we'll be sending out our to-do list so for those of you that have been on our email list for a while you know that ahead of each show we send out a full list of retailers it then explains who's doing demonstrations who's doing make and takes who's doing mini classes and then it also gives you a space to jot down your notes as well so if there's something that you'd like to um to see or catch up with someone that's a good place to leave it now Wendy's just asking are the retailers taking cash as well as cards I believe most of them will be doing both again it's up to each individual retailer as to how they handle their stores but yes I think we will expect to see a little bit of cash there as well as cards and also at the door you can buy your tickets with cash or card as well and of course you can buy your tickets online and that includes the discount already built in and you can buy your one or two day tickets either at the door or online. Okay, so we've talked about when and where. Now the other things just regarding our COVID safe plan, please download the Services Vic app in advance. It would really make it easier for all of us if you're ready to go with that. I believe there's been an update this weekend as well. So if you've already got it, it might be worth just checking it's updated. Now, when you do that, your details will be kept in the Services Vic app. We don't see any of them and we will only um, need to call up if anything happens. So that's a great way to ensure your privacy. Now, please make sure you sanitize your hands on arrival and bring a mask if you need to wear that if you feel you're not comfortable or having trouble maintaining distancing. And we do have venue capacity limits will apply. So we do ask that you please be patient. The great thing about the Cadinio Cultural Centre is that you will be able to come in and use the bathroom, even if you do have to wait a little while before getting into the venue. And of course, Sundays are always our quieter day. So we're really thinking that Sunday will be fine as far as limits go. Saturday, there might be a slight delay while we let some people move out before we can move you in. But we really do appreciate your support and your patience. And of course, sticking to our COVID plan means that we can continue to to run these in-person events. So I think that's everything for Packenham. Only one week to go. Of course, if you've got any questions for myself or any of the retailers, pop them here and we will do our very best to answer them. And finally, Plan C. We are so looking forward to catching up with you again this week. 
Did you see last week's conversation with Wendy and Michelle from Snazzy Scrapping? They did some gorgeous cards. If you did miss it, go back and watch the replay. Michelle from Snazzy Scrapping has a fantastic range of Australiana and unique stamping um, stamps and dies. And she just did a really lovely rocking rocker card, which was actually quite simple, but it really looked stunning using their beautiful papers. So if you missed that, go back and catch the replay. I believe Michelle's offer is valid until the 20th of May. So watch the video, get the codes there, and then you'll be ready to go. Snazzy Scrapping won't be at the Packenham show either. So the best way to get in touch with her is through the Snazzy Scrapping website. So this week we have a pre-recorded interview because I'm talking to one of my very favourite people, Andrea from Creative Dream Incubator. Now I've been part of this Creative Dream Incubator for about 10 years now and Andrea has a whole system that's revolving around journaling and internal reflection to use to create your dreams and it's really been one of the key tools I've been using to do all the things that, that we do as far as bringing you the show and the mixed media up. So that has been pre-recorded but it will be going live on Friday the 14th of May at 2 p.m. and then live on YouTube not long after that. So really I'd love you to come along have a listen to Andrea like I said she's based in Canada and has just really built up a fantastic creative business so particularly if you've got something you'd like to achieve whether it's a creative business whether it's finding your dream home maybe finding a life partner she's got some fantastic tools that can really help you get your mind um, heading in that direction and then also taking concrete steps to achieve those goals as well. There's no point spending all time having having fantastic dreams and then kind of just sitting there hoping it'll come true. She really breaks them down into doing you know, dream work, so what does this big picture look like? Doing the inner work, so what is it that might be holding you back? Is it that you're too scared to pick up the phone or you don't know where to start or what might it be? And really identifying those things and then it's much easier to break it down into actionable steps so that you can do that outer work, you can actually go and start doing some of those things because that's how we make our dreams a reality. So that is it for this week. Inspiration. I would love to hear from you card makers. Are you making in batches or are you making one-offs? What works for you? And of course, if you would like to share your cards, head over to the Papercraft Posse group on Facebook and we would love to see them. Packenham Show, just over a week away. Make sure you're on our email list and we will send any updates to you. The to-do list with all the retailers plus who's doing demonstrations, making takes and mini classes will be posted out emailed out next week and like we said plan c will be back on friday the 14th of may at 2 p.m with our next update so i think that is it for another week i'm so looking forward to catching up with you all and this is michelle signing off i hope you have a crafty day